different. However, uh, today we are going to introduce our IPP income systems. Uh, it is double seven double zero system. So uh, PC here, we have in uh, we have prepared some device and terminals here to introduce it. This here, this is the IP adapter. It is built amplifier. Um, in uh, for this device, you can connect the you can connect several speakers behind it, and we have five kind of uh, these terminals. And above it, this is the fire alarm panel. We often uh, settle it in the fire center. Uh, it has 16 channels to input the fire alarm signal from the fire alarm sentry. And above it, this is the pager microphone. We can use this pager microphone to call any zones you want, to call any adapter you want. This here, this is the small adapter, small IP adapter. It is built in 2 channel 10 watt speakers, uh, 2, 2, 2 channel 10 watt amplifier, so that we can connect a small speaker to it. Of course, we can use this remote control to connect this adapter beside it. It is the monitor speaker. In some situation, for example, in the classroom, we can use uh, a pair of this kind of speaker, and it is can, it can it, it can re receive the signal from the the control PC, and then to play the music to the classroom. What's more, you can set this kind of speaker in the control room to use this speaker to accept the signal from other terminals to hear the voice from the other terminals. Yeah, then, please see here, we have prepared two kind of uh, emergency panel here. This one, it has one button. We can use this button to communication with our control room. And beside it, this terminal, uh, this terminal and this panel have two buttons. We not only can use this top button to communication with our control room, uh, but also we can use this alarm button to provide an uh, alarm signal to other terminals. The equipment is introduced above is only use the cat cable to connect to the network switch. That is okay. What's more, we have to provide the power to, to it. Thank you very much. Okay, dear friend, now uh, we are going to introduce the setting method for the 7700 IPP system. So please see this folder. Um, this one is used for the main control room and this folder is used for the second control room. We enter this folder and run this uh, software known as the administrator. And then you can see we have four icons, one, two, three, four, the configure icon, star server icon, user icon, and the writer icon. So first of all, we have to write in the IP address for each terminal first. So we open this writer icon. Paste this software. And above it, we have to set the IP address for the server PC. You see here. We have to set the IP address, the fixed IP address. This is the fixed IP address for the server PC. And return to this software. <coughs> In the network card, we have to choose the IP address. This IP address is for the server PC address set. And this one, the original says address. It means the IP address for the terminal. We often chose not my and not, not my, this option. Uh, and then we press this button, sick button. If, uh, if your terminal is online, uh, it can you can query the IP address for this terminal. And then I have to set the IP address for terminal one by one. So you need to input the terminal to the network switch by Capify cable one by one, and then use this software to write in the IP address for each terminal. Remember, remember that the IP address and the server Server IP address must be right. Okay, dear friend, now we are going to register the software and going to configure the setting for the software. So please see here, I double click the star service this icon. 
and then you can see this user interface. In here, you should provide the serial number to us. This serial number, we send it to us, and then we will reply you the registration code. Type in the register code here, then we have to register the software. You see, we have registered register this uh, software successfully. Now, dear friend, uh, we are going to configure the software. You see here, double click this configure uh, icon. And then, in this user interface, we have you can see seven options here. I will introduce them one by one. First of it, you have to introduce the terminal config because we have write in the IP address for each terminal. Now. We have to add this terminal to the software. This T here. Press the new button and type in the type in the name for each terminal. For example, for the page microphone, it's double seven zero two A. This microphone and its call number is zero zero one. IP address is. Then I finish this uh, page microphone's IP address setting. Press this OK button. You see, I've added the terminal to the terminal to, to the software. If you have more uh, terminal, you are going to set it one by one. For example, the double seven six sixty IP MP five. Phone number is zero two. I can address for it. Finish it. Press the OK button. And what's more, if you have some emergency panel like the such as the T double seven zero three, we will use. We have to set this uh, code, code code and IP address. And then, uh, because you have the IP, uh, IP emergency panel, so we need to choose the option behind, like this one. Emergency call for help. Extension button, because it, this is the 0703, it, it only have one talk, talk button, so we do not need to set this uh, option. And so that this, it means when you press this top button, uh, which terminal you will call, we chose the page microphone, the, the, the paging uh, microphone. Yeah. Press OK. Then, when I press the top button in the emergency panel, it can communication with this page microphone. Press the OK button. Okay. This is the terminal configure. Okay, let's go on. Uh, you see here, I have add six terminal here. So now we have to go to set the partition for each terminals. For example, here I press the new button and add a group, group one. Call a partition call is zero one, and then I chose. Three IP MP5 into this group and press the OK. You see what is the partition config function? It means that when you use the uh, page microphone 7702A to call this call number, you can call this free IP MP5. It's very uh, it's very convenient for using. That's all. We finish the partition config. Now we are going to set the alarm config. Press this option. Then you see in this user interface, uh, we have to add 
the new trigger task here. You see the target petition. I will choose the group I said just now. Uh, it means when the fire alarm panel receives the alarm signal from channel 1, then this the terminal included in this group, they will play the music from here. I chose the music. But before, but in this setting, before I chose the music, I have to put the fire alarm music into the folder in the in the double seven double zero software. This this here. Copy this MP3 files. Copy this MP3 file to the double seven double zero software folder. There are folder named alarm library in here and input and um, copy the music to here. When you finish, go back to the software and choose the file. In this alarm library, choose the file, you see? Yeah. So, press the OK button here and choose the volume. I will address the name. Uh, the test one, I will rename it test one. test one. The IP address. The IP address is for the double seven two three. The fire alarm panel. Okay. Finish. <laughs> Thank you. Now we are going to set the timing task config. You see here, we have to open this button and then choose new task list files. Open it and then save. And then set it to the current task. Press this, uh, this button. Finish. And now we can add the new task here. Set the task name. Um, the start time. And um, it will cycle rule one for Monday or Tuesday. And select the terminal here. I just set the group one. And choose the volume and the source, the sound source from the folder. In here, be careful that uh, we have to copy the files, the MVP files, to the double seven double zero install software install folder here. You see this? This one is the time task library. We have to input the MVP file, files to this folder. And then back to the software. Now we can choose the files. When you finish, uh, when you finish uh, the setting, press the OK button. Now you see this is uh, this is a timing task here. Now, dear friend, we are going to introduce the last function, uh, the user config here. Press the new button and type in the username. This is the user account and it is the password. This is the user priority. Number one, it means the highest priority. And then we have to select the terminal. I have to select all terminal for this user and press the OK button. Then in here you, you see the user admin can control these terminals. Of course, I can add another user, the normal user. So, and its priority is 2. I select the terminal. It, this user only can control the PG microphone. So, see here, the user 0 one only can control the, the PG microphone. Oh, finish. Thank you. Please. Uh, we finished all settings for the double seven double zero system. Now we are going to use this software uh, 
first of it, you have to start the verb. Then you see, this is the user interface for the time task, terminal state, and the system state. And we can use the, this user interface to check the terminal if they are online or not, and check the time task. Then, of course, if you uh, want to play uh, music by yourself, you should use this uh, this function. Double click this user icon. Then, in this window, we type in the username and password we just set, and the server IP address. Click the OK. In this is the ball case entry. Uh, for example, I want to play a uh, music uh, to the terminal one, then at the task here. Choose play files as priority, select which terminal you want to play the music, and the volume and the file list. And file list because if we have to copy the mp3 files to this folder this folder is in the installation folder of the double seven double zero folder here copy the mp3 music to here Then I can choose the music from this folder. And if it, if if you need to loop the task, please choose this option. Press OK. Then I I I can play I can press this play button to play this task. Finish. Thank you.